hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to fix this issue the network security isn't correct so how to troubleshoot this issue guys so first one is the troubleshooter the step we are we are going to perform is five steps so the step one is the run the windows troubleshooter so you can go to windows search bar type as simply troubleshoot setting and simply open it up it will automatically detect your issue and will resolve it click on other troubleshooter and in here click on this option network and internet just run it and also you can run the windows update troubleshooter and check if it fix the issue or not if not then we can move on to the second step so in the second step guys we are going to go to the device manager okay you can simply type a device manager or you can press window plus x key like this and you can open the device manager and in here look for the connected network in my case I have, I have connected with this wireless so simply right click update and browse my computer then this option and check when your system was working fine with the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet check that adapter and click on next and it will be installed automatically so once it is installed check if it is fixed the issue or not if not guys we can move on to the third step so in the third step we will reset the network sometime the old configuration of our network can cause this issue as well so we can simply go to the search bar and type a reset network network reset we can type network reset simply or you can go to the this document like open the settings network internet status check for that and click on reset here and once you click on yes option your system is going to restart automatically and it will delete all the connected networks so you have to again re-add the network here so let me show how to re-add the network here go to this option network internet okay and in here guys look for the connected or you want to connect that then click on manage networks and click on add network once you click on add network just name it and this is very important guys just click on security type select the second option one okay WPA2 personal AES only select this option these are the advanced encryptions so select this and you need to put here the let's say this password and then click on connect automatically and click on save it so once you have saved it it should fix your issue and it should connect it with this network and even if you can forget it also the connect all the connected networks and try reconnecting it and it should fix your issue now if not we can move to the fourth method in the fourth method guys I have already shown you how to forget the network so you can simply go to the that way I have already told you and check if it is fixed the issue or not now the fifth stage is we can reset the, our IP addresses and all the cache inside the network sometime the old cache inside the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet connection networks can cause this issue so we can reset all the logs as well as the errors so these are the commands guys just hit by simply open the CMD as admin mode hit yes simply paste one by one like so like this okay the third command is this one okay just paste it here and after that you need to paste this command in order to flush the DNS cache 
okay and then hit this command in order to release the existing IP and then type this command in order to get the new IP so all the commands you will get into my description box step by step so once all the command are executed guys you have to restart the system and it should fix the issue now so these are the steps to troubleshoot the issue if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and also join the membership so thank you thanks for watching